To navigate to the graphs, you can go to the progress page and the progress page for your learner will show an overview of how that learner is progressing. Um, so once you start to have mastered targets, they'll appear here at the top of your page. You can also see this in a list format if you click on recently mastered here. This list will be sortable by introduction date, master date, status, etc. To get to a programs graph, you'll simply find that program and click on the name of that program. So for my Manding program, I click on that um, and that will bring me to a graph of that overarching program. You can see that I have my objective um, that's also here just above my graph. Now, the default for most of your graphs will be dependent on what program type you have, um, but for a skill acquisition, um, the default will be success rate over time. So um, the default here for my x-axis is showing me the previous 90 days or three months. Now to, to make adjustments, um, I'll click on these three horizontal lines to get to my settings. I'll start from the top and work my way down um, through the different options that you have available to you here. Um, the first will be the settings wheel where I can make adjustments to things like um, theme. So if I have a preference for black and white versus colorful, I can make that selection here. I can also add custom labels um, for my Y axis and my X axis as well as a custom minimum and maximum value for my y-axis. I also have the option to disable grid lines for my graph as well. All right, um, the next set, uh, setting that I have available here is for the time frame that's being shown. So as said previously, the default here is 90 days, but if I um, prefer another time period, I can select that. I also have the option to custom um, customize a specific time frame. So if I have a very specific start and end date that I want to be looking at, I can um, set those as well. All right, the second option here is where that data is being sourced from. Um, so the default is, is typically going to be auto-selected for you, um, and um, I would say that this is probably the least frequently um, adjusted setting. Below that, I have what's on my x-axis. So um, here I am looking at a daily data, but if I prefer to see um, by session or if I want to evaluate um, like targets or programs, et cetera, I have quite a few options there. The next one is my y-axis. So um, as said before, the default here is success rate, but if I wanted to look um, maybe at the number of occurrences total or uh, the percentage of total, et cetera, I can make those adjustments here. So I have quite a few options um, there. Below that, I have a filter. So the default that will be selected here is that program that um, I have clicked on. So you can see Manding is already selected. Um, now, if I were wanting to look, um, let's say, at two different programs at the same time, um, I could select multiple programs, and then um, each of those programs have their own um, their own line, and I can easily um, compare success rate with uh, my COPES program versus my Manding program. Um, another option is if I want, if I select this drop down arrow here, I also can actually select specific targets. So um, the default here is selecting all targets within that particular program, but maybe I only want to select um, a handful of those. I can select a handful. And then um, you'll notice that this is just one, um, one line. So it's, it's grouping all of those together by program. Um, and I can adjust that here in this grouping option. So I have a few different options um, that I can select from for how I want that data to be grouped. Um, so right now I'm showing programs. If I want to group by target and have a different line for um, each specific target, um, I can do that as well. 
Um, another common one is user. So if I want to see, hey, is my staff um, or is um, one of my staff members having um, a higher success rate with this learner um, in this program than others, um, I can look at that and evaluate um, based on that data as well. All right, and then um, I also have a few um, options here by which I can um, I can um, change my view of the data. So the default here is line chart, but if I want to see my data graphed as a column chart, a stack column chart, etc., I can do that. I do have an option for um, an algorithmic um, line chart as well, um, which that is available if you're graphing um, by session. Um, I also have an option for scatter plot. So if we, um, um, as, as all of our data has uh, a very specific timestamp, um, that enables us to um, create and produce a scatter plot um, for, for all programs. So I can see trends in, um, hey, my learner's having a higher success rate, let's say on Thursday afternoons, um, but after lunchtime, maybe that success rate tends to go down over time. Um, I, can, I can make some um, pretty cool uh, clinical insights based off of, of that scatter plot functionality as well. And then the last component that I have here in my settings are annotations. So I do have the ability for certain graphs to add a trend line. I can also add an average line. And then um, I can um, create phase lines as well. Um, and these phase lines can be toggled off and on um, and they can be either across a specific client. Um, so all of their graphs um, just for a specific program or for specific targets as well. So to add a new phase line, if I'm doing this from scratch, I would just input that date. Um, I can adjust the time as well and then create a label. And then once I do that, I can specify if I want to um, just apply this to this particular graph or if I want this to be widely available across all of that learner's graphs or this particular program or specific targets. All right, so that's a quick summary of, of the settings that you can um, adjust. I will say once you make adjustments to your settings, um, so if you want that to be your, your default view so you don't have to go and make those changes again, you can click the star and that will save that as your default um, view of that data. So next time you come and check out that learner's progress, it will remember this default view um, this default view is also what will be pulled into your treatment plans and reports if you have um, those automatically being pulled into any of those um, templates.